This fall is going to be a ball, y'all. <laughs> Look at this cornucopia of blessings. Gorgeous. See what it did there. Look, it's so great to see our friends Mark Hendricks and florist Ian Shelton. Thank and you. I've never felt so short in my whole life. If you look at that screen, <laughs> this is. Hey, let's get you out of your soapbox. I need okay. to get okay. that box. Get that soapbox. It's so great to see you. And what I love is we're combining produce and flowers for fall. Oh. And to me, they go hand and in hand. And feathers. And feathers. <laughs> Who wants to start? Mark, Ian? Um, Mark. Uh, I will. Uh, at our stores right now, we're, it's still summer, so we've got a little homage to summer here. Mm -hmm. So we've got the, the fruit that's left uh, that you'll find in the stores. But the whole switch is going to come for the store to be doing merchandising for the fall. So mm -hmm. out in front of most of the stores in the city area, you're going to see pumpkins and gourds and mm -hmm. ornamental corn. You're going to see all of that in some big displays and, and uh, tied in with that. Ian's department is going to have some moms out there, and, and then inside he'll have tons of things to decorate your home with. Yeah, he does a great job. Thank you. Ian, you want to talk? I don't know where you want to start. Do you want to There's so much. talk about the elephant in the room? This is gorgeous over here <laughs> on the other side. A giant cornucopia. Well, uh, it's the horn of plenty. And so uh, uh, with fall, we have all kinds of eating going on, or at least we think we do. Mm -hmm. So um, as, as uh, uh, we see, the, you got the gourds here, and we've got the corn. Just look at that. Um, I'm trying to stay out of the way. It's yeah. so pretty. I'm trying to step so out pretty. of the way. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, get over here. It's so gorgeous. It's, it's really great to combine <laughs> flowers and so even things that you so can cool. harvest out of the yard. Um, for instance, this driftwood as well. Um, if you've got a magnolia tree, Pick some of those leaves off of there. They last forever, and they make a really great like addition and contrast to all of these beautiful fall colors that you is have here. Is that what here. this is? Um, this is a croton leaf. Okay. If you got one of these and you don't mind picking them off, I have one on my front porch. Okay. Yeah. I do. Yeah, croton leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I have a croton plant. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. Yeah. And you see, we've got some just laid down there for some uh, extra fall color and some oh. contrast, so you can see uh, see and enjoy those particular colors that are unique to this time of year. This is like you said, just a harvest of blessings. Here. Yes. This looks wonderful. And don't forget the Pam. I'm just gonna say, yeah. you can beautify <laughs> these pumpkins by putting a little Pam on there. That's what I is didn't that okay? do at home. Is that okay to do it? At that, your house, it right? Actually, yes. Yeah. So that's you do it for TV, but I say it'll make it last a little longer because it seals the outside. So, <gasps> plus it makes that beautiful sheen that you see on yeah. the outside. Yeah. Oh gorgeous. wow. Yeah, it gives a really nice finished look. Mm -hmm. I see it, and I want to cut the top off. I want to hollow it out, <laughs> and then put some flowers in yes, it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm with you on that. That's so wonderful. So, what are some like? I'm seeing some beautiful just fall. Like, I see a plant that's like burgundy, and that makes me think fall. Are Absolutely. these typically a fall plant? Or you can have those all year long. Uh, this one you can have all year long. This is called a cordyline, and it is it's part of the tropical family, although they're very easy to grow. You keep them on your porch. Make sure you give them plenty of water. And what we did is take some fall leaves, and then we just picked them around the bottom there, so anybody could do this at home. Oh, that's and so it gives you that nice, wonderful transition from summer to fall. That's really nice. So I was looking at that. You could put that on your porch. It doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of sun, or does it? No, it doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of sun. As long as it's got good diffused light, you're, you're really good. Good to go. That's a yeah. nice one. But I'm, I see I'm getting worried about the cooler temperature at night then. Do you oh, have to yeah, worry about that? Um, the general rule of thumb, if you don't know, is about 54 to 56 degrees is your cutoff uh, bringing okay. it inside. Okay. Okay. So now's the time to start bringing them in because you don't want them to start going into fall hibernation mode where they'll start to lose a few leaves. So you want to start right. bringing them inside. Right. So yeah. the fruit that's left right now, Mark, is our peaches and plums and Mm -hmm. uh, there's several varieties right now. This is a nice time of year for peaches. You can see how big these are. Oh wow! And then also fall is the perfect time for apples. And we've started, we've started uh, getting the the harvest from uh, Michigan, Washington. Uh, we'll start New York here at the in the in the middle of next month. And there are right now there are Missouri apples uh, available at the stores. Can I say when I saw this, I thought what a creative way for a table centerpiece. Yes. It reminds me of something Martha Stewart would do. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, you've got a lot of apples to eat if you do that. Right. But, you know, you think of fall and carameled apples, right. you and know, in that time of year. I like that they're real ones. And they're real. They're not just, you know, the plastic kinds. So it's it's just a great idea. Like, if you like, don't want the flowers and you want some that you will use, that's a great idea for yes. a centerpiece. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You could do it with pears if you've got a pear tree or come to the store. Yeah. Get yeah. some pears. We've got some wonderful pears right now. <laughs> I had to... Had to try a sample of one to make sure that it was good. It was and, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it was. It was really so good. Really good. Sugar yeah, levels yeah. okay and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's great. Yeah, they it, were fantastic. Yeah. It is so fun to decorate, mm -hmm. but I, I love what you've done combining flowers and fruit and even vegetables. 
Uh, that is just so wonderful. I'm curious, do you sell this, this corn at the store? Yes. How can people get yes. this? Uh, we sell we sell everything individually this year. Uh, before we've just had it in the bags like these. Oh yes, Most yes, people yes. We used to just picking up a bag and taking it. This year we've also we've also got all of these elements in a, just a, a bulk, so you can just buy, pick right. out the one you want, and pick it up and go. Is it like this? Look, look at all these fun stuff. Yeah, then you can get the there's yeah. whole thing. There's corn and and mini pumpkins. We've got white mini pumpkins, tiger stripe mini pumpkins. We've got the regular mini pumpkins. We have uh, a larger size pumpkin this year. Uh, oh, that's so pretty. That's the largest one. Then there's a medium size, and then there's actually even a, a smaller one yes. uh, That's that we haven't gotten in yet, but these uh, these smaller ones here are actually pie pumpkins. So we've got... I've grown those. We've got four or five different sizes of pumpkins for whatever Size display you're doing in your on your porch or on your table or whatever you want to do at home. This one right here, if you can go down, this looks like the ones I would grow in my garden and I would make pumpkin puree with. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to try. It. I just wanted to see if it would work, and yeah. it did. Yeah, I just wonder, and they're they're so pretty. I just wonder how many people purchase them for pie making. I know you know oh. it's so easy just to buy the can, but you certainly can do that. Oh yeah, it is. And the the difference is is that these are a little have a little hollower. It's more hollow inside. And the pie pumpkins have a little denser, oh. a little thicker rind on them, so that you've got more meat there more to, flesh to work in there. with. Okay. Right. I will say, this is a lot more work than just buying the can. Oh, of course, of course. Just saying. But I'm saying, that's fresh. That's fresh, fresh. though. That's so and fresh. I, but but then you've got pumpkin seeds you can roast after. Oh, yeah, that's and true. All of oh, that, I love so. those. those are we so have some good. stuff on the floor, too. I can't see because I don't, I don't remember what we have. I'm yeah. going to go look because I don't want to miss some, anything. Uh, look, the mums, too. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have the mums. Of course, we've got three different sizes of mums this year. They're all coming in looking absolutely wonderful this year. I'm really impressed with the mums. Um, also, uh, down on my lower right-hand side over here, uh, on your side, uh, we've Great. got a can down there. And what I put in there was some of the fall leaves that we have, some of the uh, um, uh, lotus pods that we've got, some cattails. So you can just purchase those and do what you want to do with them at your own home, at your own leisure. That is yeah. so great. But you'll be happy to give people some ideas. Absolutely. Want to come into the store. Absolutely. Uh, here's an arrangement here that I put together for for uh, the table, and we can do just about anything that you need. Any That's any amazing. occasion, yeah. anything. Yeah. By That's the way, good. I was driving by one of the price cutters the other day, and I could not believe how giant the mums are this year. Oh, they they're are. Huge. They're yeah. giant. They, they are huge. They've it must have been a good year for mums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, they're bigger than three of our heads put together. <laughs> and when you see those mums, uh, the one that's down here has a lot of blooms on it. And you may go to the store and, the, and it'll look like, well, it hadn't even bloomed yet. That's really the way you want to get them, oh. take them home. When you put them in the ground, then you've got time to watch them bloom at your house. Yes. Oh, so uh, that's a great idea. The, the, the way you want to pick them out is just look for the color. It'll just crack a little color at the, at the top of the bloom. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tell, well, that's a purple or that's a red or that's yep. a white. And then... Take that baby home, put it in the ground, and it'll be beautiful within all through the season. Okay. Awesome. Ann and Mark, thank, thank you, you for this beautiful oh, display. For How festive. I love it. I'm in the mood now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the fall mood. Go get some stuff at Price Cutter. Yes. It'll make your home very cozy. All right, guys, we'll be back with a Mass Singer review after this. Stay right there. So, yeah, I want the mums. And do you plant them in the ground?